Hey, what's up? My name is Joseph. I'm a visual artist, content creator, and a traveler. I've been doing video art around the world with just my phone. And over the years, I feel like I really find my own unique style, and now I'm ready to teach you everything I know. In this chapter, we're gonna learn how to create the surreal scene of a galaxy girl touching the sun. As you can see here, I've created this scene of a girl interacting with the sun. And in order to make it, I had to place in front of her a source of light that would be easy to replace later on. And also easy to control its levels and colors. So I went for a smart bulb that will give me all the control that I need to make the image look exactly as I want. Also for the background, I use a projector with a cool nebula texture. In order to make the light look in the shape of a circle and not deal with the cable later on in editing, I hung the bulb in a way that it will only be seen from the bottom in the shot. Now that we have our footage, let's jump into our Videolip ad and start editing. Let's open our app. Good. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our clip to the timeline. Boom, here we got it. And now what we're gonna do is to bring this layer to the top so that we will be able to apply the chroma effect on it. And it will only apply once it's on the top layer. So let's do that. There's two ways to do that. One way is we can tap on the clip and then tap the mixer, boom. The other way to do that is just to long press and then drag it above, just like that. Now that we have it here, before we apply the chroma effect, let's add the galaxy clip. Now you'll be asking why? Well, I'm gonna tell you so that when we apply the chroma effect, we'll be able to see how does it affect the image and we'll see what's the image behind and we'll see how good it works. So now that I added it, now let's go tap on our clip and let's go to the chroma. So now we're gonna key out the black. I specifically looked for a girl that has black hair and I asked her to put black clothing so it will be easier for me to remove this with the chroma feature. So now let's go and place it in the black. Good. Now we need to play a little bit with the sliders in order to make it look good. So we go to intensity and we make it lower till we still know that there is effect, but we have most of the areas still untouched. And now we can play with the shadows and boom, now we can see, we can see the galaxy through her hair and through her clothing. Amazing. Now this is starting to look actually quite surreal. So now we're gonna add a sun. Now the thing is, sometimes you might find the right asset from the stock or from whatever, and sometimes you're not gonna be able to find exactly what you're looking for. So in those cases, you can create your own. So in this case, I'm gonna show you how I created this exact sun that I wanted to, in order to make it look how I imagine it. So let's go to the top and then we'll add a new project. So here, I'm gonna add this nice fire that I found, but we still need a planet. We need the sun, the actual sun. For that, we actually do have a, an asset that actually works for this. So we're gonna go and add it here with a mixer. Let's tap on mixer. We go to stock and Let's use this one. This is gonna work just fine. Now let's drag it to the beginning. And we're gonna key out also the green, in this case, so that we can have only the planet. Awesome. This doesn't need too much tweaking because the green is quite bright and green, so there's nothing to do here. It's quite easy for it to, to take it out. Now let's place it in the, in the middle, kind of, somewhere it makes sense maybe smaller, cool, somewhere there. All right, 
but it still still doesn't look like a sun it still looks like the moon with fire right so we're gonna start to play a little bit with the colors and with the temperature so let's tap the moon asset and let's go to adjust and then we'll raise the exposure a little bit not too much maybe a little bit more contrast and very important let's raise the warmth the temperature now it's starting to look more like a sun but we need a little bit more brightness so let's go to exposure and let's raise it just a little bit more now it's starting to look interesting but there is still something that doesn't work because it looks kind of like an element that is on another element so now i'm gonna clone i'm gonna duplicate the asset of the fire but i'm gonna top it above the sun or the moon in this case and i'm gonna apply a blending mode that is gonna make it look more realistic so let's go and duplicate and then we'll tap on mixer and now i'm gonna change the blending mode i'm gonna have to choose this yes and then blending and i'm gonna use the screen blending mode what it does, it gets rid of all the black in the image and will leave only the white areas. So now it's starting to look better, but we lost now a lot of details from the planet. So we're gonna have to make a mask in order to still have a little bit of that planet texture. Let's go back, let's go to mask, and then let's choose radial. And we're gonna mask this layer just a little bit like here in the center and we're gonna pull the arrows a little bit so that we have the feather a little bit and it's not so contrastic the um the mask we need to invert it of course now that we invert it now we still have a little bit of the texture from the planet and we have in the edges a little bit of mixing with the fire and the planet okay this looks not bad at all okay i'm gonna cut the clip so it will be exactly 10 seconds and now i'm gonna export this now in this case it's not a very big video so i'm just gonna export hd and we usually do 25 frames per second this is kind of the standard uh, depending on where you are but this we're gonna leave it for another chapter all right now let's add what we just did so let's go back here and amazing now we need to get rid of the black first of all so for that we're gonna change the blending mode so as we did in the last in the in the other project we apply this now We're gonna place it right where the black hole is, but this is still transparent, so there's a problem. We still need to have some kind of solid element that is gonna be covering the black area. So we're gonna, first of all, let's bring it to the beginning of the timeline. Great. And now we're gonna duplicate it. Amazing. And we're going to create a small mask. We're going to pull the arrows a little bit so it's not so, so it's not so much um, contrast and it's more kind of a feather going on. And now let's invert it. Yeah, I think we can add a little bit more feather. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, now it looks pretty awesome, but now we still need to add some filters and some adjustments so it will unify the whole look of the composition. So let's add filter. Add whatever makes sense to you, whatever colors, that is up to you. This might be too much. Maybe something like this, but let's lower the intensity a little bit. Maybe something like this with some fade could work actually I'm gonna go with the second one yeah that looks that looks interesting it still have a lot of contrast but it still have like also nice colors
Now you see there are some areas here, for example, in her nose where the effect is not quite working very well. So we can still go again, choose our layer, duplicate it, get rid of the effect, and we can do an, again another mask in that area and then we can fix it. So something like this. And we can change the size, we can change the shape of this mask to whatever we need it. And now it's gonna work much better. So we're gonna make sure that her face is actually looking good. And boom, here you got it. A galaxy girl touching the sun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't have VideoLib yet, go to the App Store and download it right now. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. And if you want to see more videos, click here. And remember, you won't believe what you can do on an iPhone.